Dear viewers, welcome to Nursad Satellite Channel and Telelumir TV. Let's start with the headlines. In his public interview, Pope Francis speaks about the virtue of wisdom so that we do not stray on the wrong path. His Majesty the King meets with holy figures and emphasizes the need to confront Israeli violations in Jerusalem and its sacred sites. In an interview with Italian television, Patriarch Pizzabella says Easter will be difficult this year to experience during this holy time. For the experience of the holy time, the launch of the second spiritual sports event for the Marist Sisters in Zarqa. Welcome back. During his meeting with believers in St. Peter's Square at the Vatican, His Holiness Pope Francis said, God does not want us to be saints only, but he wants us to be intelligent saints. Without wisdom, it is easy to stray on the wrong path. He added, Today's teaching is dedicated to the virtue of wisdom alongside justice, strength, and moderation. These form what is known as the fundamental virtues, not exclusive to Christians, but belonging to the heritage of ancient wisdom. He emphasized that human action lies in one's intelligence and freedom, and a wise person does not allow emotions, laziness, pressure, or illusion to dominate, but chooses the path he must take. The Holy Father concluded his weekly teachings by saying, the wise man builds his house on the rock, while the foolish man builds his house on sand. Thus, Christian life is a blend of simplicity and intelligence. His Majesty King Abdullah II, during his meeting with the Council of Awqaf and Churches in Jerusalem and Holy Figures, reaffirms Jordan's continued support and empowerment of Palestinian brothers and their resilience on their land and their defense of Jerusalem and its Islamic and Christian sanctities. He emphasized the need to confront Israeli violations, especially in Jerusalem and its holy sites, with full force. Patriarch Theophilus III, the Patriarch of Jerusalem and all of Palestine and Jordan, expressed the importance of the historical role undertaken by His Majesty the King as a custodian of Christian and Islamic holy sites, expressing ongoing gratitude for his steadfast support and diligent efforts towards peace and humanitarian work. Cardinal Pier Petista Pizzabella, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, appreciated His Majesty's efforts in sending humanitarian aid to Gaza, stating that Christians in Gaza expressed their thanks and appreciation for every assistance provided by Jordan, which continues to support their brothers and sisters. He highlighted the historical brotherhood between Christians and Muslims in Jerusalem and their aspirations for a final solution to the Palestinian issue based on the two-state solution. Cardinal Pier Patista Pizzabella, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, stated that Israeli occupation forces prevented Palestinian Christians in the West Bank from reaching the occupied city of Jerusalem to participate in Palm Sunday celebrations. He explained that they imposed strict military measures at checkpoints surrounding Jerusalem and its vicinity of the whole city. His eminence clarified that the Israeli authorities require both Muslims and Christian Palestinians to obtain special permits to cross their military checkpoints surrounding the Holy City and access places of worship, especially the Aqsa Mosque and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Moreover, they impose restrictions on permit assurance, requiring citizens to possess an identification card issued by the occupational authorities after what they call a security check of the applicant. Afterwards, citizens are compelled to download a specific mobile application and submit a request for the permit, which is often rejected. He reiterated that Easter this year will be challenging. Cardinal Pizzabella pointed out that the situation in the Holy Land has become intolerable amidst the difficult economic and financial conditions facing the Patriarchate, appealing to all religious, political and social groups to do their utmost to overcome this situation. Ambassadors from Greece and Hungary, along with the executive director of the Hungarian Grand, visited the Patriarchate Orthodox School in Karak. They were received by His Grace Bishop Christophorus, the Orthodox Bishop of Jordan, and Archimandrite Saba Hurani, the spiritual leader in Karak province, along with the several priests and Mrs. Linim Danat, the general director of schools, and a gathering of dignitaries and officials from Karak province, including Mr. Tomish Bara, the director of the Grand in Jordan. During the visit, His Grace delivered a speech in which he commended the efforts of supporting entities for the Sustainable Energy Project, solar panels, and educational resources in the school. He emphasized the importance of these projects in serving the local community and enhancing the Christian presence in the area. After the speeches, the delegation unveiled the project and toured the school to inspect its facilities. 
As the holy season of Lent began, the second spiritual sports events for the Marist sisters kicked off at the church of St. Hanna in the Hashmiyya neighborhood of Zarqa. The event was attended by a large number of sisters and women from the Marist sisters, along with priests from the governorate. The purpose of the gathering was to immerse in the spirit of praying, fasting, and repentance during this sacred time. The session started with a lecture by Dr. Basim al Sam'an, the regional director of Nursa Jordan and Palestine, who provided a spiritual introduction focusing on the virtues of the Mother of God to empower women spiritually. The meeting was characterized by active participation and interaction through questions and discussions. Father Hani Jamil, the church pastor, and Sister Cecile Hajazin, representing the Union of Religious Orders in Jordan, delivered welcoming remarks, during which prayers were lifted for peace in the world. Sister Mary Kandah from the Rosary Sisters also delivered a valuable speech, touching on the important qualities of the Virgin Mary and citing reflections from Pope Francis. The event concluded with a divine liturgy led by the guide of the Marist sisters, Father Ibrahim Nafa, followed by a launch reception, an exchange of congratulations for the occasion of St. Joseph's Day, Mother's Day, and International Women's Day. On the occasion of the beginning of the Holy Lent season, the Christian Education Office in Jordan organized the annual spiritual sports events for Christian educators at the Church of St. John the Baptist in Madaba. The event titled, From Him Springs Life, was overseen and conducted by Rev. Father Tariq Abu Hanna, the parish priest and director of the Christian Education Office. The gathering commenced with the recitation of Sam, followed by a lecture on gospel reflection by Father Tariq, engaging in a meaningful dialogue with the educators. Intentions of the educators were uplifted during the Divine Liturgy, followed by Way of the Cross exercise held within the Church. The program concluded with a visit to the museum and the remarkable Roman Byzantine archaeological remains located beneath the Church. Amidst the ongoing war in the Holy Land in Gaza, the city of Jerusalem faces significant challenges due to a decline in the number of pilgrims, coinciding with the somber atmosphere of the liturgical season of the Holy Week observed by churches, according to the Western calendar in Jerusalem. His Excellency Archbishop William Shomali, the Latin Patriarchal Vicar, expressed his deep concern about the prevailing fear due to the war on Gaza and the Holy Land, as well as the distressing images portrayed through various media outlets. He believes this fear is discouraging many tourists from visiting the region. Archbishop Shomali further explained that the noticeable decline in the number of pilgrims this year is also attributed to the warnings issued by some countries advising their citizens against traveling to Palestine. He noted that the holy sites in Bethlehem, Jerusalem and Nazareth are suffering deeply due to the absence of visitors, who are an integral part of their identity. He expressed hope for the conflicts to end so that the holy places can regain their vitality once again. On the occasion of Mother's Day, which fell on the 21st of this month, the youth of Mar Michaels University and workers in Smekiya Karak organized a celebration for the mothers of the parish. The event was attended by Father Khaled Gammo, the church pastor, Deacon Zaleh Jazin, and the sisters from the convent. The celebration included competitions, religious questions, as well as games of bingo and a dinner for everyone. At the end of the celebration, Father Gammo presented symbolic gifts to the mothers, who in turn expressed their gratitude to Father Gammo, the sisters, and the youth for the wonderful celebration. The program Ain Al Mashriq, presented by Father Nabil Haddad on Nursa TV, hosts Minister of Culture Haifa Najjar in a new episode titled Our Human Culture Jordan as a Model. During the episode, the minister elaborated on the humanitarian aspect that is part of Jordan's culture, characterized by love and communal living among its people. Minister Najjar also discussed Jordan's national and humanitarian stance towards its brothers and sisters in Gaza. A dialogue meeting was held at the Orthodox Society Hall in Lweb de Amman between the members of the Administrative Committee of the Society and Dr. Faris Brizat, the President of the Council of Commissioners of the Petra Region Authority. The dialogue focused on the importance of rehabilitating the 10 churches in Petra and integrating them into the religious tourism map. Dr. Brizat also emphasized the significance of the recent liturgy held at the Byzantine Church after a spiritual absence from the site for over 1400 years. He highlighted that the Petra Authority seeks to incorporate the ten churches as part of the Christian pilgrimage route in Jordan and eventually link them to the church located in Aqaba.
On another note, members of the Holy Land Committee conducted a solidarity visit to Palestine to be closer to their brothers and sisters in the Holy City. The purpose of this visit was to oversee projects managed by the Latin Patriarchate and funded by the Knights of the Holy Sepulchre Association. The committee met with employees of the Patriarchate, bishops and priests and visited several institutions affiliated with the Patriarchate. These included the St. Rachel Center for Migrant Children in Jerusalem, the Elderly Home in Beit Ephirium, the Clerical Schools in Beit Jala, and the Patriarchate Schools in Beit Sahur. The visit was described as wonderful, aimed at supporting Christians in the region and preserving their presence in the Holy Land. In the wounded Gaza Strip, amidst ongoing challenges due to the continuous war in the region, from the past six months, the parish of the Latin Church of the Holy Family in Gaza celebrated Palm Sunday to commemorate the entry of the Lord Jesus Christ into Jerusalem. On this occasion, a celebratory Mass was held, presided over by Assistant Priest Father Yusuf Asad. Following the Mass, a festive procession took place outside the church, during which parishioners raised olive branches and palm fronds. The atmosphere was tense with fear and tension due to the ongoing war in the area. Christians in the Gaza Strip and displaced individuals in the church endure these security conditions with patience and prayer, praying to the Lord God for an end to the war and for the relief from suffering through the intercession of our perpetual Virgin Mother. Here, dear viewers, we have reached the end of our news. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. In his public interview, Pope Francis speaks about the virtue of wisdom so that we do not stray on the wrong path. His Majesty the King meets with holy figures and emphasizes the need to confront Israeli violations in Jerusalem and its sacred sites. In an interview with Italian television, Patriarch Pizzabella says Easter will be difficult this year to experience during this holy time. For the experience of the holy time, the launch of the second spiritual sports event for the Marist Sisters in Zarqa. For more details, please visit our website, nursajo.org. Thank you for watching. May your time be pleasant. And until we meet again.